cap. Bird. Uh -huh. I didn't get it loaded hey, up. Boy. Hey. You saw that a little Prairie Hill rain right there. Whenever you go to hire an upland guide, you can always tell the caliber of your guide by how he looks. If you show up to go bird hunting and your guide is overweight, you are about to have a horrible hunt. Because I'm telling you, you put the miles under the boots now. So if you got an overweight guide, that's your first red flag. Just ask for a refund and go on home. Now, if you look like Gumby, you're probably going to have a pretty good hunt. Let's go. I'll take it. All right, guys. Well, I was in the middle of editing this video for about two and a half days, and last night I deleted half my footage. All my intros, uh, all the deer hunting footage, which was just those. So that's why I'm stopping the video and doing this from my home, okay? I had a great time in Texas. I was with uh, Corey Lear with Monarch Hunting Products out of Texas, and we were at Prairie Hill Sporting Club. So... What you're about to see is an amazing short quail hunt film. We shot a lot of birds. Man, I'm gonna tell you, it was a great, great time. So I'll let you get back to watching. Yeah, he's How many oh, dogs? We got four dogs. Yeah, he's, okay. right here, oh. he, he's trying to let's, stay in y'all shade. Let's send him, uh, send him on the next one. Is he on a different bird? Yeah. All right. Oh, got it. Come it up. Find it. Yep, Look, Jeff starts talking about it's the gun. Now Corey's picked up on it. I'm the only one that's admitting I'm sucking right now, just purely hey, off no, user. I'm there with you. I think what it is is the nervous. Hey, hey. Hey, did you see that? Did you see that? I'm watching the one I shot. Hey, look at that. Look at what that dog's picking up. I'm just saying. I see some shot there. Look at that. Hey, look you here. Right here, Plum. Look you here. That's a Mississippi special. Golly, hey, there's one right there. Right behind y'all. Hey, right here. Oh, right in front of you, right in front of you. Dang, we leave him. There's birds all over the place. Lord, have mercy. Bird right there, Plum. Bird right there, Plum. Right there, Plum. This bird may not get back up. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Run at him. Whoa. Plum, here. Plum, here. 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 Bird right here. That's a dog right there, baby. Come here, Plum. I'll just be facing. Be aware. Right. Plum. Thank you, Ty. Good Lord have mercy. That's true hunting though right there when you're not we, saying anything when you're in the mode We're just enjoying it that's that's the that's the mode right there We're just enjoying it watching these dogs work hearing the chatter a little baby behind us he's living the dream doesn't really get much better boy. nope whoa rooster there he goes come on what in the world is going on down there hey i got that on video too that's not good Whoa, 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 whoa. God. You nicked that one. Come on, guys. <laughs> Man. Come on. Wait a minute. Are you missing, Jeff? Nope. Nope. Jeff, are you missing? Dad gummit. Why'd what? you have to do that? <laughs> but you missed. You missed too. All right. I just don't like the gun. No, hold on. But you did miss twice. Did I? Because I got two birds back. But. That's a theory. Like We've got three guns. That's a theory. Let me check. That's all I got in my pocket. That's that. It's not what's in your pocket, okay? I'm just saying, you did miss. Hold on. Let me check. All right. I got two birds. That's all I got in my pocket. <laughs> Let's move on. This man over here. We, we have it on camera that Don't Jeff Sterner did miss quails. I just want y'all to know. Listen. And then proceeded to blame the gun. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, phone here, y'all. In this lane. 
Just FYI. Oh, look for a phone. Yeah. Oh, you were serious earlier when you said oh, yeah. you didn't have a phone. She gone. You got a point. This dog's on the fine, that dog's back. Anytime I send her, he's Go! I did get that one. Yep. Yep. Either way, I'm getting, getting, hey, bird. Good shot. Yeah, that was. That was a legitimate reset. Like See you, help. You ready to give the word? Yeah. Whoa. Holy captain. Bird right there. Still good. Deal. What they're doing right now is called popcorning. Just one, two at a time, and this is when you can really wear them out. Cup. See you, cup, buddy. Ready, guys. Yep. Pump. So be ready, guys. She's maybe smelling more. Bird. Hey, hey boy. Hey. Call that a little Prairie Hill rain right there. So is that what you call a covey of quail right there? Yeah. Call it covey, <laughs> my man. Hey, Dad, gun it. Listen, if you've never been quail hunting, I'm telling you, you gotta go. This is, look. I mean, we're slaying them. It's insane. Y'all check his blind out. Oh, monarch blind. shake they shoot in a doe you just need to quit that's right Whew, golly that feels good dude jeff thank you so much brother heck yeah my man this well has done. been amazing hey get some does off the property and she's gonna eat good you bet and she come right out of that probably bedded you know she's probably bedded just right there mm -hmm. right there inside that tree line God, I can't get over how big she is, man. She's huge. I don't know if, if this was recording when we were saying this, but Jeff said it was a doe. He said, that's probably that big barren doe. Yeah. And I'm, I had to ask him. I'm like, are you sure? This is Jeff's place. So it sounded bad, me asking him this or saying. I'm like, are you sure? Because that's, that's probably the biggest doe I've ever shot in my life. She's huge. She's big, brother. Oh. You put it on her. That's what it's all about right there. It is that. Prairie Hill Sporting Club. I'll take it. <laughs> Heck yeah. Let's go look at it. All right, brother. <laughs> this is the biggest, I'm not kidding. Like that, this doe is huge. She's got to be 140 pounds, 150 pounds. I could be way off. <sighs> Everything's bigger in Texas, brother. Everything is, uh, the does are bigger in Texas. Good lord, man. She, like, <clears throat> that scared the piss out of me. <laughs> Look at the head. I feel nubs. But I already felt them. <laughs> the horns came off right as you walked up. I threw them in the woods. Like, I got. I wear a 12 foot, 
12 shoe. All right. The back of her, her, her head is longer than my foot. Mm -mm -mm. That is a big, 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 I want to stretch her out just a little bit. That's a big doe. It's old, old Nachi right there. I've been right. seeing her come to the camera. Old slick head nanny right there now. That's grandma. Hey, if y'all want to have some fun, I highly recommend coming to Texas. All right, when you got a gun in your hand and you can kill stuff, it just makes it a lot better. Man, awesome. Well, guys, as you can tell, all right, I didn't lose all the deer footage that last video on there. That was me and Jeff, the owner of uh, Prairie Hill Sporting Club. He was doing some filming for me. And uh, look, we had a blast. I had a blast, okay? I had a blast meeting Corey Lear with Monarch Hunting Products and his family, Jeff Sterner with Prairie Hill, Martin, Sandy, Josh, Ty, Damon, all, all you guys. I mean, it was, a, it was such a good time. I had never done anything like that to where I could go to a sporting club or a hunting club and you know, that was that vast and had that many animals on it. And uh, hope to be going back this summer to specifically hog hunt. And we're gonna, Jeff, we'll, We'll talk about it later. For you guys, I want y'all to know that I've got a two terabyte hard drive on the way. We're not deleting any more footage. And if we do, it's gonna be backed up and it's just gonna be annoying. It's not gonna be lost in space forever. But I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff, guys. I'm, I'm gonna keep doing my shorts on all the platforms and I'm gonna continue uh, doing long form videos and hopefully have one uh, one out every every week, every other week. So, and I have to say, he did not ask me to do this. Corey Lear with Monarch Hunting Products, look, he is a phenomenal human being. He's one of those guys that when I talked to him over the phone about going out there three weeks ago, I was like, I could just tell this is a down-home guy. Uh, he's from Hope, Arkansas, you know, so he, he's got the same kind of roots that I do. From the moment I got there to the moment I left, I mean, literally two days after I left, he was going to Nashville, and he stopped by and stayed the night with me and my family, you know, ate supper with us, and then he was on the road the next morning. So, you know, meeting him for a very short time, I I feel like Corey and I are going to do some fun stuff over our lifetime. I hope that y'all go to DeerFeeder.com and at least check out what he's got. He's got some cool apparel. He's got some hats, okay? He's got some, some clothes and stuff. And obviously, he's got those big monarch hunting blinds and deer feeders. Uh, they are extremely nice, extremely comfortable. Uh, I'm not going to give y'all too much detail on what's coming out with his stuff. But anyway, please go check his stuff out. It's on DeerFeeder.com. Uh, the other guy that was there was Ty. He's got a TX Brew Barbecue. TX Brew Bar... I don't know. I think it's TX Brew Barbecue. All right. He, you look him up on Instagram or Facebook, and he kind of looks like, like this in some of his pictures. And he's got tattoos and everything. Uh, he's got some amazing cooking videos. Dude's crazy as all get out. I love him to death, man. He's, he was he was a blast. Him and Josh. Uh, but go check his page out. He he's got some he's got some really cool stuff. Thank y'all for tuning in, and we'll catch y'all on the next one.